According to the Oxford Dictionary, inflation is a general increase in prices in an economy and consequent fall in the purchasing value of money. Now, unless you are an economics major, this definition probably won't make much sense. In simpler terms, inflation is the result of when the amount of money spent on goods and services outpaces the supply. Picture a small town with 10 people and 20 gold coins in circulation. Because of the small number of coins, each holds a high value. However, imagine a plague were to hit the town, and in an attempt to help, the regional king decides to give each member one gold coin to help manage. Once the plague is gone, the town is now left with an additional 10 coins in circulation, which causes demand for general goods and services to go up as the citizens now have an extra coin worth of disposable income. Those selling the goods and services see the increase in demand and eventually raise or inflate their prices. The rise in prices is otherwise known as inflation. Now, provided the influx of coins is kept at a manageable rate, inflation is a good thing as it indicates economic growth. Picture the town's blacksmith, who sees an increase in demand and decides to take on an apprentice. With this new wage, the apprentice chooses to spend money at the local cobbler, who decides to purchase some leather from a nearby tanner, and so on. The result is a slow, mutually beneficial increase in demand and a subsequent reasonable inflation rate. However, imagine if the king were to provide the members of the town with a much larger deposit of, say, 20 coins, the members of the town would be able to demand goods and services at a much faster rate than what can be supplied. The blacksmith wouldn't have time to find an apprentice and would instead need to double his prices, meaning the amount of money in circulation has doubled, but so has prices. This situation is problematic, as the value of the citizen's savings has halved. A great example of inflation gone awry is Venezuela, a country that has seen unprecedented price increases over the past 30 years. Following an over-dependence on the import of essential goods and political corruption, the government began printing money to offset the poverty and unemployment rate that the country was facing. The result was what is now known as hyperinflation, which would see the price of a coffee doubling from the time it took you to walk from your car to the store. Therefore, the impact of inflation derives from a ruler or government's ability to manage the influx of currency, which is handled through various methods such as interest rates, open marketing operations, and monetary policy. For information on these topics, make sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.